Hey folks, how's it going and welcome back to the channel and we've got another little book review and this time another one from the awesome Bitmap Books and it is the N64 Visual Compendium Now I've bought a few more of these guys books absolutely top class quality amazingly detailed prints, pictures on them but without further ado, check this one out and as previously stated folks, the quality on these guys' books are just second to none. See there, every one of their books have compendium editions. You can get to work there, comes with a really cool lithograph slip cover. And very heavy, really heavy book. And every book you buy from these guys, you get a digital version, absolutely free too. And obviously the slip cover, which protects the book, just slides off like so. And we have a small front cover, this time obviously just not lenticular, like the outer cover. And we'll just have a quick look through. There's all your contents, definitely a lot to get through here. And here we go, the most iconic N64 games, screenshot there, forward by David Doak. Story of the N64, definitely hated on, seems to be by a lot of people nowadays, but personally the console I really do adore, maybe didn't have the biggest library, but it definitely had a lot of bangers, let us know in the comments what's your favourite N64 game, or maybe a bit too hard to pick, I mean your top 5. Really cool, the whole wireframe. Mario 64. I remember being in absolutely awe. Seeing that game running for the first time. I think I must have been about 10 years old when it came out. And then first seeing it, being able to run about in that 3D space was just absolutely unbelievable. Awesome pilot wings as well. I mean, just Nintendo really were the masters at, at transitioning their beloved 2D franchises into the 3D realm. I suppose pilot wings of the SNES was pseudo 3D with the mode 7, but you will know, see Wave Race, another banger. I mean, again, these are games that still stand the test of time. I mean, the physics on this at the time, the water physics, as well as the water effects, was just unbelievable. Oh, yes, it is. Another banger. Konami, what happened to you? The good old football games. Cruising USA, another game that you either hate it or you love it, but it's a good, good, dumb, fun arcade racer. Really cool. Of course, some awesome Star Wars games we got. Shadows of the Empire. And Mario's 3D. Proper 3D debut with his karting series. Definitely one that brings out the worst in multiplayer. Keep your friends about. And of course, here we go. Still such an iconic game. I love going back to it. 
if we can take a bit of practice for newcomers with the original control scheme but ain't too bad once you get the hang of it really a pioneer the first person genre how to do it right on consoles and a fun fact did you actually have the two n64 controllers didn't realize this until a few years ago that's how forward thinking they really were they actually implemented a dual analog control scheme by hooking up two n64 controllers really cool stuff and again forward thinking from that great company Turok, another awesome game an interview with Remington Scott let's have a quick jump through it's not like I'm doing 64 Jesus, crazy how dark that looks now. I mean, impressive as hell at the time, no doubt. It's cool to try something new. But it's hard going back to when you play the new remasters that they took out on the various consoles of Doom 64. Definitely the way to play it now. So, so good game. Mischief Makers. Star Fox 64, of course. So, so good. Uh, awesome evolution from the SNES Classic. Type of sphere. Oh man. Lovely picture there. Oh, the system with the cartridge. A different bold move for Nintendo to continue the cartridge format. Have another flick through what we got. With the goat, Defo, the best racers on the system, and man oh man, long overdue a new entry. Awesome F Zero X. We did get get the GameCube successor, which was so good as well. But man, again, this at the time to have all that ships racing against on screen at once was just mind boggling. Amazing stuff. Really need a new entry. Mission Impossible. Never played it. It does look pretty cool. Roman's Great Adventure. Again, one I definitely didn't play. Of course, you have Gex games. Mega Football. Nah. Body Harvest. Another cool little game. You've been able to enter all the different vehicles and buildings. And what else we've got here? Can't pass up the wrestling, various wrestling games that were on it. So, so good. Oh, the WrestleMania 2000, my favourite, and here we go. Still so good. Ocarina of Time, massive Zelda fan here. And again, I can go back to this one time and time again. Still such a classic. Although definitely, again, the way to play this now is definitely the 3DS remaster remake they did. Really cleaned it up. Looking beautiful. Wipeout 64. Never played it, but, but by all accounts, it was a very good version. And it's actually noticing to see with the little ribbons the Keep track of your progress looking through the book. So fuck. <laughs> I was actually just watching some of that the other night, some classic episodes. Still so funny, man. Awesome stuff. I never played the games. Don't think they were meant to be nothing amazing, but. Battle Tanks actually had that. It's okay. Not too bad. Smash Bros. I'm not the biggest fan of the Smash Bros. series, but I know it's hugely popular. And obviously started his life. Oh, the mighty N64. Twenty eight.
Like the machines. Quick, quick two. Quick ports again. So impressive on the system. Famous jumper park. Story of the expansion park. That's really cool. Gauntlet Legends. Again, Gauntlet's a classic arcade game, old school games. Never played the N64 version. Shadow Man again. It's a game. I've actually got it, but never played it. I know we've got a remaster not too long ago as well. But by all accounts, it's a pretty cool, if not messed up, game. It's another game that looks really good, but. As of yet, haven't played. Road Rush 64. Wingback, that was pretty pretty impressive. Kind of like a start of cover based shooter, if I remember right. Again, not tried it, but I remember seeing it and it definitely did look rather impressive. Ghost Gemini, another classic, man. It's a beautiful game as well. Definitely. Push the system. Some of the DD games in cover there, and the highly impressive port of Resident Evil 2. A game that's high on my list to get for the system, but Jesus, man, them prices. CIB copies, if they're in really good condition, can go upwards of £300, which is mental. So then you can pick up the PS PS1 version for probably 30 quid. Hong Kong 64 had it, but I don't know, it just didn't click for me. One of those games that transitioned to 3D, I know I was praising the transition to 3D a lot of their games, but definitely prefer the old school 2D Donkey Kongs. 64 just not, didn't do it for me. And some more about the N64 DD. Definitely Nintendo doing a Sega there. Didn't really think through or follow through with that one. And like the 32X. Only Japan released and not a lot of games at all. And that's a cool insight there. About the two little too late story of the 64 DD. Games that were meant to be Dolphin and Duck Giant. I, think, I don't know if it actually came out, I think it was cancelled. I definitely remember that coming out in the GameCube. But it could have been a sequel to that game if it came out. Tony Hawk's classic. SimCity. I remember seeing about the SimCity game for the DD, which did look very impressive. Oh, can't pass Paper Mario. One absolute gem of a game. Again, another one. Definitely wish I didn't sold because prices have went skyrocketing and that. But at the time, unfortunately, grown up things to do, saving up for a house. Definitely didn't sell it for what it's worth now. But Banjo Kazooie again, Belter. Belter again. In Animal Cross, in Animal Forest, as it was known, I think it was just a Japanese release. But there we go, guys, just a little quick flick through. But again, highly recommend checking out Fitmap books and checking out some of the other books, as well as this one, if it interests you. Absolutely can't go wrong, in for the price, 30 quid for this. Top, top quality book. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. 
checking out some of my other book reviews. We'll be doing some more as well. And we will catch you on the next one. Peace.